Hello everyone and welcome back to another GTA Online guide where in this video I'm going to be sharing my own personal tips and tricks for shaving your precious time off doing the setup missions for the Diamond Casino Heist. Now there's a lot of mandatory as well as optional missions that can be completed to make your heist run a little easier. However, they do take quite a bit of time and some are even quite a pain to complete without a good strategy. So here we go. Some tips to making life easier for you on the Diamond Casino Heist setup missions. On the mission where you have to go into the prison to loot a security guard, what you're told to do is steal a prison bus to get some uniforms and then drive the bus into the prison to get inside. Well, to hell with that, just shoot the driver off the bus, get inside to get the uniform, get back out of the bus, blow up the bus, and then get something to fly you into the prison, like an Impressor Mark II. This is infinitely faster than driving the slow prison bus for up to half an hour to the prison. You do have to face opposition when you go and get the keycard, but any competent player should be able to handle what's thrown at them. Oh, speaking of slow vehicles, when you're forced to drive exceptionally slow vehicles like the armored van for securing the heist weaponry, having a friend to push you in a much faster car can speed things up a lot especially when it comes to going up steep hills, which there are a lot of in Los Santos. There are a lot of missions which involve you having to steal stuff from the middle of a faction. This is the kind of mission in which the armored Kuruma comes as a godsend. Who knew? A Heist 1 car coming in handy for Heist 3? Oh, I remember back in the day when the cars were good. Whenever you have an item that you have to take back to your arcade, you can drive the car that you are currently inside to the marker without actually having to get it back out of the garage again. This will save you a few seconds getting out of the car only to walk inside as a person, and you don't have to worry about storing the car inside the garage. Whenever you do the mission where you have to hijack the security guard's phone to hack the security cameras, it is much faster to just kill him, take his phone, and then use an Oppressor Mark II to fly over all of the cops that are searching for you. By the time you make it to the casino, you've already lost the cops that were searching for you, saving you quite a bit of time. If you are attempting the guns blazing approach and are doing the vault explosive setup mission, you can save quite a bit of time by equipping a scuba suit before undertaking the mission. During this mission, you are unable to change your outfit to prevent you from changing into your own scuba suit when you realise that you have to get past a bunch of guards just to get to the scuba suit that's been laid out for you. But there's nothing stopping you from using your own personal suit if you happen to to have one already equipped. And that's a few personal tips that I have for you to shave some time off of the heist preparation missions. Do you have any of your own? Let us know in the comments and if you found this video useful, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, ring the bell, and I'll see you next time.